Yo, what's poppin'? We back in the whip. It's your boy Jay, back here with another vid. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're blessed. Hope you're on your purpose. If you're watching this video, what's poppin' with y'all? Um, yeah, it's 2022. Hope y'all feeling great. Uh, I'm feeling great. Title this video, How to Transmute Your Sexual Energy, is what we're gonna be diving into the topic. Um, semen retention, no fab, you know the vibes. It's one of the most powerful shit that you can do, period. You feel me? So, yeah, let's hop straight into it, man. I guess to start uh, to update y'all on my journey and kind of where I'm at with everything in life and stuff like that. Right now, I'm currently like day 40, no fap. As y'all can see, the glow is, yeah, it's, it's yeah. Retention, we like day, uh, ah, maybe day like eight, nine. Um, I released once this year with a shorty, um, took a trip to New York, vlog coming soon. Um, yeah, man, probably shouldn't have did that, but hey, you know, stuff happens. Only one time before that, I was on a streak of like 38 days. Um, not 38, like 20 something, maybe 23 days or something like that. So yeah, we doing good, man. And I'm feeling great. And this is why I want to hop on this video because that whole trip, I was able to consciously not release, but still have sex, even though um, that one time I did release. Um, and the way I was able to do that and the way I'm able to um, feel good, I feel like now and not have a lot of that sexual energy still stuck in my lower chakras and my lower um, dimensions is by transmuting. So <clears throat> that's kind of what I wanted to address in this video is how to transmute, what is sexual transmutation, how you can do it, how it's practical. Because I've seen so many videos to where it's like they talk about the sexual transmutation thing, but they don't really get into it. And they always give you the same shit, you know, go to the gym, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to give you all a little different alternative perspective. So if you are into that, stay tuned for the end of the video to get those thoughts. Anyway, let's hop in. How does it transmit your sexual energy? Number one, yes, go to the gym. I just told you that. I'm not going to say that, so let's get it out the way. Yes, I mean, it's simple. You move your body. Essentially, what you have when you retain your seed is you have an abundance of your sexual energy, sexual essence, the most powerful energy on the planet, and it's stuck in your balls. It's stuck in your root chakra. It's stuck in the bottom. The goal is to get that energy to go up your spine through all the seven chakras, transmute that energy up until it hits your pineal gland. Once it hits your pineal gland, something happens into the pineal gland where the fluid hits the pituitary, it activates the pineal. When the pineal activates, it secretes a fluid. That fluid flows down your cerebrum. It comes out white. It flows down your cerebrum. Once it hits the actual... Uh, pancreas i believe it transmutes into a, a golden substance so that's where you get flowing with the land of milk and honey and that's where people speak about enlightenment and just feeling this um um flow state you know so that's kind of like the flow state so that's the goal that we're trying to achieve so with that in mind you know we have to consciously be aware of where this energy is located at all times and this is where a lot of the times i talk to i talk about on this channel is awareness because you have to be aware where the energy is to where the energy can go because where your focus goes the energy flows so that's why i think we get blue balls and you know i've experienced blue balls throughout this journey and it hurts you feel me but i know the energy's trapped so some of the things that i immediately do when i get it is breathing exercise so breath work is huge that's going to be number two breath work because essentially when you breathe correctly which it's taking a full breath, expanding the chest, expanding the stomach, expanding the ribs. You're essentially breathing in all the energy. And then once you blow it out, you can consciously blow it out and release. And it's like a balloon. And then what you're doing consciously in your mind is pulling that energy up. But you don't let it go back down. And you just keep pulling that up and you're consciously thinking about it. I keep saying consciously because it's all the mind state. You know, that's why we can't even get sexually aroused sometimes without having a physical pleasure. You know, you can get a boner out of nowhere without even being around a girl. So that shows you how powerful the sexual energy and how powerful the mind is on that sexual energy. Um, because you can create these thoughts within your mind and still use that energy. And it's so readily available. Um, it doesn't take much for you to experience that emotion, that erection. It doesn't take much for that energy to get utilized. 
Um, so the same way it doesn't take much for you to get utilized in a traditional way, which is through sex, it wouldn't take much for that energy to get utilized in a non-traditional way, which is sexual transmutation, because you're using that sexual energy in a non-traditional way. So you're transmuting it into a non-traditional fashion. Now, the breath work is key, huge, transmuting that energy up also the exercise because essentially what you're doing is releasing that energy so you're putting it out you're putting the output um what output are you doing so that's the main thing to think about if you have energy which is the input because you're not releasing it so you usually have this consistent output if you're not practicing semen retention if you're not on no fat you're releasing to porn you're releasing to the girls constant output that energy that you have is finite so if you're constantly putting it out your body you're gonna have a finite source left and it's gonna deplenish. But when you hold that, essentially you have more input that can be used for an output. So you will technically have more energy to work out. That's why people say work out because you have more energy to do it. So it's easier. You're gonna have more strength. You're gonna go longer. You're gonna, all that stuff. So utilize it by pushing shit to the max. That's another way to sexually transmute. Cause we're used to a certain standard by constantly releasing. We're loose to that standard of energy, of having that standard of energy. But when we hold it, we're now experiencing an unusual standard of energy, way heightened. So we have to do an unusual standard of action because that's what uses the energy. Whether that's in the gym, you have to go harder. Whether that's with your business, you have to go harder. Anything that you're outputting the energy into, is you're gonna have more to more energy to put into that thing so therefore it can manifest faster and that goes into the next point which is manifestation and that's the ultimate sexual transmutation is manifesting so whether that's a goal you have a dream anything like that now you have essentially double or triple or quadruple i don't really know the multiple or whatever but you have that multiple of energy in you now to be inputted into your goals your dreams so that's why it's so crucial to use it all because if you don't that's where you relapse that's where you um you know you fall back in the old habits when you're not busy enough um staying busy means you're using energy you know whether it's mental energy physical energy spiritual energy Ener any energy can be used um for a purpose now you can use that energy negatively too you can use that energy to sit around and um well it's actually sit around it's not using the energy it's stagnant and ultimately you're going to relapse so let me not even say that but if there is other ill will or bad shit, you know, um, that you're doing, it could be heightened as well because you have more energy to put into that thing. So just be wary of that. Two, um, while you're on your journey and best being conscious of this energy because it is the most powerful energy there is. Yo, don't want to make this video too long. We're going on about eight minutes, man. We got more content coming soon. If you're subscribed to the channel, you're a day one. I appreciate you. Go follow my IG, at Javian Hodges. Um, I post more behind the scenes, modeling photos, just different my life stuff on Instagram. More content on YouTube coming soon. More vlog stuff, more just documenting the journey. Y'all know how that go. Definitely taking YouTube more serious this year. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all want to see. Sexually transmute your energy, bro. Get that shit up to your spine. That kundalini energy. Get it to the pineal gland. And I promise everything will happen. Gonna be speaking more about how I was able to manifest 10K in two months. How I was able to manifest pretty much the dream girl. And all the shit, bro. It's coming. It's here. Um, catch you on the next video, I guess. Peace.